Hey Tubi Tubers! I'm channeling my inner Twiggy today with a 60s inspired look. I look nothing like Twiggy. It's, it's nothing like Twiggy. But if you had a fancy dress party to go to or something like that, it's, and you want like a bold look but keeping it quite sassy as well, I think this would be pretty good. Um, it is just like a very bold 60s inspired look. Um, with the powder blue and the pinks. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful and we will go into it now. So I've already moisturized my skin under my eyes. I've primed my face. I haven't really primed my face because I'm only going to take it off straight away. So there's no point. Just pretend I've primed my face. If this was a real life situation of makeup, I would have primed my face. I've got a dog trying to get on my lap. Uh, give him birth to a pug! So first off I will um, put some green concealer on my poorly patches and then just put on some foundation and then conceal on top. For the concealing I'm just using my normal Coastal Scents Eclipse um, Palette Palais Palou of all the corrective shades and the shades of concealer. And you can contour with this as well, this is what I like about it. foundation I'm going to use is just the Anti-Blemish Clinique. It seems to give me the best coverage and it's anti-blemish. Oh. Have you ever do any makeup when you've got long earrings on? It's like they want to just friggin attack you. One little knock and your earrings go mental. Then, for under my eyes, I'm just going to use this, it's nearly run out, Rimmel Perfect Match um, Concealer. And it's a contour and highlighter in one. So I'm just going to whack that under my eyes. Do this, I pat it in with the brush rather than swiping it. Because I don't want to drag it and pull my skin over, so I'm just going to pat it in. Then I'm going to go back in with my concealer palette palette Palou and just conceal up my poorly poorlies. So I put it on with my concealing brush and then with my foundation brush that I've still got some of the foundation on from when I applied it on my face, all over my face, I'm just going to pat it in so it blends in nicely so you don't have the contrasting colour. So then just to settle that I'm going to use a Bare Minerals foundation in medium beige. Right, so that's the base of the face done. Um, then I'm going to go onto the eyebrows next, I think. So I'm gonna fill them in. Normally I would do my eyes first, but I'm just gonna go into the eyebrows. I'm gonna fill them in with my eyebrow, blonde eyebrow pencil. So I'm just gonna fill them in. And I'm not gonna worry too much about them being mega, mega neat. It's only a slight difference, but it's just it makes the eyebrows more eyebrowy. Right, so now that eyebrows are done, I can move on to the eyes. So first off, I have to prime them, so I'm just going to use the Urban Decay primer. First call of action is to get a white, and I'm using MAC Gesso, and I'm just going to pop that all over my eyelids. And then with a black and I'm going to use a black pencil, eye, eyeliner pencil and this is uh, just a Cargo Cosmetics one. It came in my Cargo Cosmetics palette pillow blue that I got the other day. So I want to make sure it's really sharp so I'm just going to sharpen it up first. And you want to make sure you're looking at yourself face on so your eyes are open and then what you're going to do is from here go around and you want to be just above your crease because you want it to show and you're going to draw a line flicking it out like that so I'm going to leave that like that now and we're going to need to up in a minute but I'm going to do the same on the other side and try and get them as even as possible as well Right, so before we neaten those up even more, 
it's just a case of getting a powdery blue colour and this is one from the Makeup Academy palette Poptastic and I'm just using the, is it that one? I'm just going to use this lightest matte powdery blue I'm just going to get a um, fluffy brush, eyeshadow brush and just pop that all over the lids And what I've done, it will look neat in a minute, don't worry, is I've left it more white here and intensified the blue at the ends, just so it's a really slight ombre. I want to white out my waterline, so I'm going to use my Eye Magic palette and just swipe the white all across my waterline. Right, so we can get our black eyeliner again and give it another sharpen because now we want to get the end and bring it just to connect under here. Also, we want to eyeline the whole um, lash line as well, so you can do that with this or get a liquid liner, whatever you want. I'm going to stick with this because I don't want it to be sharp and neat. Right, so now. It looks a mess, but we're gonna get a small brush and we're gonna get a black eyeshadow and we're just gonna keep going over them and it will all come together. Right, so now that's the eyes, the top of the eyes done, I just wanna make sure I set the uh, white on my waterline with a white eyeshadow just to make sure it doesn't budge too much. And then we can draw some little eyelashes on our lower eyeline. I'm going to use a liquid liner for this. This is just the Rimmel Glam Eyes liquid eyeliner and it's got a little brush on it which I think might make it a bit easier to draw the little lashes. I might not bring them all the way in, I might just have a few in the outer bit. Right, so that is the eyes done. I'm debating whether to put eyelashes on or leave it as just that. I think I might leave out the eyelashes for now. So I'm going to get my pencil eyeliner and just tight line the upper waterline. So I'm just going to put my uh, pencil in there and lick up. Mascara now. So for the mascara, I'm going to use uh, Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara and I'm going to keep putting layers and layers and layers on. If I need any fake eyelashes on, I might put them on at the end, but I just want to see how it is without them first. I think I will put some fake lashes on. It's not quite doing it, is it? So, I'll put some fake lashes on. I don't know what ones they will be because I don't label my lashes. But I will try and get some that are going to be quite fancy. These babies might do the trick. The only thing I hate about these is the fact that they've got white strip on them. So what I do is I just pop these on and I have to cover over the white and I will get back to you. Right, so now we can move on to the cheeks. So I'm going to just contour slightly up here and then pop some um, pink blusher up there as well. So first off I'm just going to get my saint Tropez and a little blush brush and I'm just going to bring it from up here and that's it. Just blend it in a bit. And then a pink blusher, I'm going to get, this is from New Kid Cosmetics and it's the Eye Cheek Blush Trio. I'm going to get, well I don't know what they're called, pink, pink one. And I'm just going to pop that slightly above where I just popped the um, bronzer. And then just brush that out as well. And then lastly, it's the lips. 
So for the lips, I'm first of all going to lip line them with my nude lip liner. Then I'm going to get a peachy nude and this is a um, collection because I'm sassy like that and it's satin bow and it probably costs like one pound, I don't know. And then just for a little extra pop, I'm gonna get this really pale pink lip gloss and this is Cargo Cosmetics and this is in Anguilla. I, I never say their names properly, Anguilla. So I'm just gonna blot that into the middle and then pop it out. And that creates a really nice pale pinky nude color perfect for this look and believe it or not that is it all I've got to do now is I'm gonna put a wig on and you can see the whole sassiness coming together with a 60s look right so I'll put it on now so that is a 60s inspired look um, if you've got a fancy dress party or something like that this would be awesome Obviously this wig costs about £100, definitely not borrowed from my mum who bought it from a charity shop. No. Top of the range, top of the range. Right, it's probably more like from the range. So, I'll zoom in so you can see. But yeah, that is it, that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it made it quite easy and not too complicated. This wig feels funny with this bumper underneath. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like if you like and subscribe if you like.